there are a number of ways you can customize your product catalog. The first way is through attributes in the catalog shortcode. You can add the attribute sidebar equals no to remove the product search sidebar from your catalog. You can add the exclude layouts attribute to not put in one or more layouts when your catalog displays. Finally, you can put in the starting layout attribute to set which layout will be displayed initially when your catalog loads. Next up is the options page. First on the options page, you can set the default graphics color. Next, you can decide whether the tags checkbox should be any check tag or all check tags. There's also the pretty permalinks option, which lets you use SEO friendly links for your product pages, or use fancy boxes instead to display detailed product information if you have the plugin fancy box for WordPress installed. The last thing we're going to look at in this video is the subcategories feature. Subcategories are used to organize products in a similar way to categories, but one level deeper than categories. For example, if you had a category of cars in your catalog, then the subcategories of cars could be SUVs, sedans, trucks, and luxury. They make it easier for visitors to find exactly the product they're looking for. You can set the subcategory for a product when you create it, or it can be set after you create the product on the product's details page. A final advanced feature for users who have knowledge of CSS can be found on the catalog details page. From that page, you can add any CSS tags that you want to your catalog. If you found this video useful, you can check out our other Ultimate Product Catalog plugin videos at the links below. Let us know if there's anything else you'd like explained in the comments section, or give it a thumbs up so that other users can find it more easily.